Hello, and welcome to my channel Minute Learning, where I try and get a topic from my brain to yours in a matter of minutes. If you enjoy my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps me out. Thank you. Ernest Hemingway is most well known for writing the groundbreaking texts A Farewell to Arms and The Old Man and the Sea, but what else can we learn if we take a deeper look into his life? So here are five things you didn't know about Ernest Hemingway. Comment down below how many of these you knew at the end of the video. Fact number one, resistant writer. Hemingway could not be killed by natural causes, no matter how hard they tried. He survived, and I kid you not, anthrax, malaria, two plane crashes, diabetes, hepatitis, skin cancer, pneumonia, a fractured skull, and a crushed vertebrae. The only thing Hemingway could not stop was himself, however, and he committed suicide in 1961. Fact number two, near-death experience. While serving in World War I, Hemingway got attacked by mortar fire and had 28 pieces of shrapnel hit him. He said, I died then. I felt my soul or something coming right out of my body the way you'd pull a handkerchief out of the pocket by its corner. Fact number three, it's a boy? As a young boy, Ernest was referred to by his mother as Ernestine, and she dressed him up in dresses and would not cut his hair. The reason for this is because she wanted a girl instead of a boy, so decided to improvise. Fact number four, constructive criticism. When Max Eastman, a literary critic, gave Hemingway a bad review for Death in the Afternoon, Hemingway slapped the critic, flooring him with the slap. The reason Hemingway was so angry was because Eastman had hinted Hemingway's chest hair was false, so he went up to the critic and bared his chest when he hit him. Finally, fact number five, paranoia. Ernest Hemingway grew paranoid and talked about the FBI spying on him in later life. He was treated with electroshock therapy for it. It was later revealed that he was in fact watched and Edgar Hoover personally placed him under surveillance, showing he was right to be suspicious. Thank you for watching. If you found any of these facts interesting, then please give the video a like, and I'll see you next time.